uh, from the very basic we need both system we need metas variable to be installed on your vmware or or your oracle virtual machine right let your vmware open and uh, open your kali open your metas variable i have also made a video on how to install metas variable on on your system So first, as we I have already told you, first what you need to do all the file there on your on your this file path. You should not let any any. If it is important, right? If it is important, you can let it be there. But it is advisable to uninstall every file there on this file path, right? So first, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to this and do ls. I have no I have already deleted right as I have no file over here I'll go to okay okay I'm into my metas virtual machine You see, like on on your meta sprite table, when we click right, we do not see our cursor moving over here, right? We do not see our cursor moving. That what we, we don't even know that what we are doing and where our cursor is, right? That's the reason we need uh, Kali to install it. And we you could not directly install uh, 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 what I'm saying, uh, SQL injection lab directly on your meta sprite table without the help of Kali. You would need that actually. Or not Kali, you can do through any, you can do through Ubuntu, you can do through any of your virtual machine, Linux machine actually. And you can, whatever Linux machine has the GUI feature, you can download it, from, download over there. And because over here, neither you can download the zip file on Metasphere table, nor you can do git clone. That will not, that will not going to help you over here, even if you do so. okay i think we downloaded it okay we are done guys you can also open you can uh, open over here your terminal right but it i mean you can also just if you can if you want to be a uh, like a less time right just open your download folder where your file is being saved right click right and open terminal over here open terminal over here as we can see we have got the terminal over here right and if we do ls i have I have SQL lab master G file being installed but I don't want to write all this big name again and again 
गाइज डू यू नो एनी कमांड हाउ टू रीनेम द फाइल एनी वन चेंज द फाइल नेम ओवर हियर यूजिंग मूव एक्सटेंशन ओके जस्ट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सो सिक्वल आई लैब्स मास्टर सो दिस सिक्वल आई लैब्स मास्टर जिप फाइल नेम आई एम गोइंग टू नेम इट एज अ सिक्वल जिप दैट एंड वाई आई एम ओनली यूजिंग जिप बिकॉज इफ आई रिमूव द जिप एक्सटेंशन ऑल द फाइल विच इज देयर दैट विल गेट इम्पैक्टेड ओके सो आई एम जस्ट गोना कीप इट एज अ सिक्वल आई जिप ओनली it will keep the file you uh, know whatever file is there on this chip that will not get impacted and we can use the simple name sql i zip only so if i do ls again name has been changed right so it just simple that we have changed the name right now guys i just show cannot move sql i file to bar file anyone can tell me why this error is coming see when i am using this uh, command right to move the file from one directory to another one right i have to make sure that i am using as a root user okay so i am just gonna first change to the, change my Presence to root. Okay, and now if I do so, mb sql i dot zip. Okay, sql i dot zip to bar www html. Will I able to move it? Okay yes i have moved the file successfully if you if you if i do ls can you see i don't have uh, that ls uh, that file in my download folder right so i'm gonna do move to my cd ls i can see that i have file in my the bar www.html file folder right so now what i'm gonna do i just need uh, move to my var folder now i will be hosting this globally that it will be available for everybody right i mean it it would be available to access on my network from any any system it could be from my from my main machine from my uh, metaspray table or from my chrome or any uh, search browser i'm using over here right so what i'm gonna do just gonna do service सर्विस अपाची पाचे टू स्टार्ट एंड एस टी ए आर टी स्टार्ट सो एज दैट जस्ट यूज दिस सर्विस माय फाइल गेट पोस्टेड ग्लोबली ओके वन सेकेंड so my file get hosted globally what i'm gonna do i see config config to see if my file get hosted globally is available on my different network or not on my dif different system os or not copy it. guys if i copy my paste over here can you see guys i am my file is globally hosted right 
I hosted in my VMware and now I am able to access, I can see the SQLite file over here, right? And if I just do one thing, if I just like put like this, SQL zip, right? Okay, one second. See, now I can see my file has been hosted globally and we can see the link location of my SQL file, right? As it is hosted globally, now we will be moving, uh, like uh, moving this file to our Metasploit table and how we gonna do so? Let's process. So now we are on our Metasprite table machines, right? And what we gonna perform, we just gonna perform and move the file which we downloaded and hosted on our Kali machine. So no issue. MSF admin default password that we use. Okay. So now we are into our root user, root user we will go to the file folder cd var www this is the file file that we use for our metasplite table right okay and if i do ls if you can see i have already sql zip sql file is over here as i have already hosted in past right i have already hosted i have used this in past but that has nothing to do with uh, like our existing work we can still it will automatically change the name of the file and we would be able to use the sqli lab okay at the initial conversation i was talking about wget and uh, git clone right so now see how we gonna use wget to install the file over here okay so w get w get http the link url which i just shown you we gonna use it over here right so w http http slash slash and my meta spreadable ip address and what was that it was 192.168.192.168.192.168.0.108 it was the same right if i'm not wrong let me check it okay file name is sql i dot zip okay guys can you see i have been connected right and if you look at the file name has been changed to sql i zip dot one why it get changed why it get changed any any doubt over here because i have already one existing file which is sql i dot zip right i have already one ex existing file that's the reason it automatically gets changed to dot one right okay let me do ls can you see over here i have this sql i dot zip dot one file okay 
unzip sqli dot zip we will do nothing we would just unzip the sqli zip file okay it is getting so it is getting executed right it will take few more seconds okay now if i do again ls can you see i have got the file name again sqli lab master i don't want to use this uh, name so long name again and again because it would be difficult for me to access the uh, file right so what i'm going to do i'm going to move it mb sqli labs master sql i am gonna save it you can name it anything okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go ahead because i have already one file name sql i1 and 0 so i'm gonna click enter done if i again do ls can you see the file name is there sql i sql i sql i lab 7 is there right as it is there it is already globally hosted now it has been installed our system right so let me do one thing first do i if config okay i can see now let me try to access if i am able to access this file over the globally or not one nine okay let me first what was it one nine two one six eight one nine two one nine two one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one nine one zero six one zero six guys can you see right now we have already some file hosted right on our machines like uh, php my admin dbwa web developer all those things we often use that right but we give the file name our we give the file name sql i 7 right let me access guys finally i am able to access sql i injections SQL I injection uh, lab on metasplay table on our local machine. I can I can do the same. I can if I want to copy this, okay. And if I go for Chrome, if I open Chrome, if I do this over here, will I be able to access my SQLI labs? Yes, I am able to access my SQLI lab. 